saw in an Adam's cartoon A Martian sitting in a waiting room It was late at night in the maternity ward A nurse appeared as she opened the door Congratulations, she said, it's a baby Well, the point of the story I'll tell you now Did you ever sit down and think about how It is that every time a baby's born, it's a baby Not a rabbit or an ear of corn just so happens that inside everyone are tiny plants that tell how the jobs to be done. They're worth more to you than the family jewels. They're stored in the forms of molecules. Like everything else, I guess. Only different. And kind of special. Floating around every one of your cells is a nucleus. And you know what else? Tucked inside every one of these are chromosomes that hold the keys to the questions we asked. How humans beget humans. Now these thread-like chromosomes contain a groovy little substance we're gonna name. It's a macromolecule, they say. It's mighty fine stuff called DNA. That's deoxyribonucleic acid. For those of you out there with expanding minds. Now this DNA consists of a chain of sugar and phosphate over and over again. But just a minute's thought and you'll see there's no hope for such a simple molecule to contain all the dope to get the human show on the road, that is, and into high gear. Well, each of the sugars in the backbone has a ring-shaped base, base touched to all its own. There's only four in a human being. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. They make up an alphabet of four letters, A, G, C, T. I wouldn't want to write a novel with four letters. I think I'll write a human being instead. Well, there is one important fact that we've let slip by. It earned three men the Nobel Prize. It has to do with three-dimensional confirmation and how it relates to information. You see, DNA consists of two strands joined together by the base holding hands in the form of hydrogen bonds, that is. Any questions about this? The whole molecule forms a double helix, a spiral staircase arrangement with the nucleotide bases represented by the steps. Hope this all isn't too steep for you. These bases join in a special way. C with G and T with A. The reason for that is not too complex. I suggest you read about it in your text. You know the book. Some of you may have even bought it. Now some time before a cell divides, an unknown factor in the cell decides. It's time to copy the DNA so the new cell will know the way to survive and do what it has to do. A lot like us. Hence the double helix unzips, nucleotides in the neighborhood slip. Into place next to their proper mates. I think you see what this creates. Two daughter macromolecules identical to the parents. So we see that every time a cell arises, there are not going to be many surprises. Because of this template scheme, this biological Xerox machine. And when parents make their contribution to a baby to be's constitution, since their chromosomes are human too, we presume it's no shock that the baby is too. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of our tune, which began with a Martian in a waiting room. If you have any questions about something you missed, Please see me. All class dismissed. Yay!